A man is trying to save a popular summer attraction. He wants to be sure the Beaver County wave pool is around for generations. Bob Allen takes a look at what he's trying to do to save it. After nearly two decades of inactivity, the Beaver Falls wave pool has become a rundown community eyesore. The pool closed in 2002 after it fell into disrepair and the city could not afford the upkeep. The city couldn't fund it anymore, so they turned it over to the YMCA. The YMCA couldn't handle it, so they made the decision to close it down. 40-year-old Tyrone Ziegler is dedicating his life to reopening the pool, but he has to overcome the problem that originally led to the closing, money. The goal was 500000 but I've been able to get um, at least eight sponsors to donate materials. So I'm just going to keep pushing for that. A number of sponsors and supporters have jumped on board, including McDonald's Home Depot and Lowe's. The facility needs new concrete, new pumps, fencing, and paint. Ziegler says he's more than halfway there and hopes to start work this spring with plans to reopen the pool next year. After changing his life, Ziegler says he wants to give something back to the community. This is my way of, you know, coming back and apologizing for who I used to be. And this is just my way of, you know, um, trying to help kids that maybe going down that path that I'm that I used to that, that I was down. When the pool reopens, Ziegler says it will be renamed Tigerland Wave Pool. The new restaurant owner, Margarita Jabber, thinks the wave pool will be a shot in the arm for the community. I know that a lot of kids and families would really appreciate that. And I think it just would be good for children to be able to get out and be able to socialize with other kids and play. And who doesn't like going swimming and water and wave pools? In Beaver Falls, Bob Allen, KDKA News.